Hi everyone. So we're supposed to solve this equation through here by elimination. Oops, sorry. And uh, first thing we're going to do here is I don't really like uh, the way that looks. Okay. Uh, with the fractions there, I'm just not not interested in working with the fractions. So I'm going to change the way this looks here. So look at the denominators here in the first equation, three and two. Two. The the smallest common denominator, uh, sorry, common multiple of those numbers is six. So I'm going to multiply equation one by six. 6 times a third is 2, 6 times a half is going to be 3, and 6 times negative a half will be negative 3. In the second equation, my denominators are 5 and 3, and so the smallest common uh, multiple of those numbers is going to be 15. So I'll multiply the second equation by 15, that'll get me 3x minus 5y. In this case, the, the 5 will cancel, so I'll multiply 27 by 3, that'll get me 81. Okay. So good, now I've got a, a system that I'm a little bit more comfortable working with. Now, I know most of you are going to want to get rid of the y, so we'll get rid of the y here. Okay, we've got to choose a, limit, a variable to eliminate. The smallest common multiple uh, of 3 and 5 is going to be 15. So I'm going to multiply again that first equation through here, but I'm going to multiply by 5. So it'll get me 10x plus 15y is going to equal negative 15. And I'm going to multiply the second equation through here by 3. So it'll give me 9x minus 15y is going to be equal 243. Now, if I just add those guys together, okay, uh, then I can get rid of uh, the, the y here. They're opposite signs here, so, so just adding them together will work. Don't do subtraction here because a positive minus a negative is just going to be a, a bigger positive here, okay? So we're going to uh, subtract, sorry, add those, so that's going to be 19x, those will cancel, and this is going to equal 228. Now, oops, 228, oops, just doing this on the calculator over here, 228 divided by 19, oh, that's a wonderful little 12. So that's great. So now I'm going to take this, this number right here, I'll go back to one of my two equations here, I'll probably go back up to the first one. So take that and plug that into that first equation. So 2 times 12 plus 3 times y is equal to negative 3. Okay, well 2 times 12 is 24 and when I bring that over, okay, I'm going to get minus 27 which makes y equal to negative 9. Which is good. So there's my two, so there's my two coordinates there, so I'll come back up here. This will be 12 comma negative 9. Whoops, you can't see that. That's the answer that we're looking for.